Today I'm going to do a demonstration on silver soldering. I'll be using Harris products um, in the hard solder and soft solder. And then I have some um, Radio Shack lead solder at 6040 and a soldering iron there. For the Harris products I'll be using a uh, Victor torch with a uh, tip on it. I have three diamond shapes cut there. Uh, the middle diamond shape is a uh, nickel silver 32 thousandths uh, shape that I've cut in the diamond shape and then shaped it to that uh, piece of steel there in the front and sanded all three of those. The, the two outer pieces there are um, copper. They're about the same thickness as the nickel silver and I'll be soft soldering those onto that steel piece there that is five eighths of an inch wide and three inches in length. It's a 16 gauge mild steel. As far as torches go, there's several ways you can go. Um, I've gotten used to using this little lightweight Victor torch. It has an odd tip on it and that's what I use for my silver soldering most of the time. I uh, also have a Henrod torch, uh, Henrod 2000, that works good because it has a, a small concentrated flame. And then I have a little jeweler's torch that I don't use so much because a lot of what I do is uh, um, like bits and spurs, uh, steel items, and uh, I just like using a um, torch for that. This is 16 gauge mild steel that I've cleaned off with the 320 grit belt. And I have some little diamond shapes here for the demonstration. This is 32,000 thick nickel silver. And these are copper, uh, cut from copper sheet in the same shape. And I'll start off first by hard soldering this diamond in the middle here. And I'll be using the Harris hard solder. It's a uh, cadmium free safety seal 45 percent you can pick this up at welding supplies as well as uh, some online uh, uh, websites and the the paste flux i use is white brazing flux and it's the brand is stay seal made by harris so what i start out doing is i'll set this aside like that and i'll put some white paste on the back of this silver that I've, uh, I've cleaned the back up there and fitted it to the steel there so it will solder down nice and tight there. So just apply a little bit of uh, white paste on here like that. And next I'll start up my torch, heat that and take this, uh, take the silver wire here. What I do is I'll straighten it out just a little bit, like that. And sometimes I even just uh, snip off a piece uh, about 12 inches long, and then I'll go from there. Okay, I've got a neutral flame here, and then I can soften that a little bit if I want to. I think I'll just pull that back because that flame is so soft the way I've got it set there. I'll move that back. Now I've got my 1 16th inch wire here. And what I'll do is I'll heat this piece of silver like this. And when that paste flux, it, it clears out and just flows and covers the whole piece. And your piece turns like a dull red it's now time to apply a, like a little touch of uh, solder and that piece flipped over on me. Was... Okay, now I'm going to reheat that just a little bit. I need a little more solder on there. I like to flow it over the whole back and, and see that's just enough to do what I want to do so I won't have so much run out around the silver piece onto the steel. Now I'll prepare the uh, steel for soldering this diamond shape onto there. Okay, I clamped the uh, mild steel to my bench here. I've got these little tabs here for mounting things. I've got my nickel silver piece 
um, prepared. I got the solder float on the back of it. I have the white paste flux right in the center here. I'll set that right down on there like that. It's kind of centered up. And I've got an old screwdriver here I use for holding my silver. Um, otherwise, it'll slide around all over the place. So you set this hard soldered piece right where you want it, and then you apply heat. Just kind of like take it easy and not burn your flux up. If that uh, white paste flux ever turns black, you've uh, gotten your um, piece too hot, and uh, it, the silver solder won't flow out like it's supposed to. Just have a little patience while that um, flux kind of uh, liquefies and uh, flows out. And it's getting near time for this to just uh, flow all the way around that piece of silver. And you can apply a little pressure and make sure it comes out. And that really looks good there. I can see that, um, that gold color of that uh, Harris solder flow out all the way around. You don't want too much, just enough. Just enough to hold that piece on there. This is probably the most uh, secure way of putting silver on to the, uh, the steel you're working, silver and steel. Um, uh, I don't mind just a little bit of the gold color peeking out from the bottom. Um, so that's how you put that on. That now needs cleaning up a little bit. I'll, let this cool a little bit and then dip it in water. And then I've got a, a ball door buffer over here with a, a very soft wire brush on it. And that will clean that flux up around there. Uh, another way to do that is to uh, slip that in swimming pool acid and uh, uh, for about five minutes and that'll release any flux you have on your surface or the white paste flux.